And still, we left off with Alana complaining about the fact that she doesn't get to go learn how to use a sword and spear. Uh, Stella, can you read the first line for us? On page 10. Yeah, hey, hey. So Tom Tom Tom's like shouting that um that sort of thing isn't something that he wants to do. Totally. And Wameko right. is kind of shouting, but it's more like um wailing. <laughs> he had a, mm. Like, like, mm. like he's not like angry. It's more like Aah! it's more on that type of side of things. And hi Danny, welcome. You haven't missed anything. Oh. We just left off uh last time with uh Lana being like, I don't wanna go learn how to use a sword. And Stella just read the first line of the next page, which was as if I wanna go learn how to use a sword. Um and tree the the next line will be for you which is only um the the first half yeah hi koron dari tata kitsu ke tari suru nande dai kirai da hai dai kirai da Dai kirai da. Um, really don't like it. Hi. Um, son koron, koron dari. Koron dari, tataki tsuke dari tsuru. Nande? Such a thing. Hi. Such a thing uh, as a th tataki tsuke dari and koron dari. I'm guessing tatar, tataki tsu is like striking something yeah to hit something and, and uh, koron is like um a struggle like to to go into combat with people that's really close koro ko, korondari means to fall and tataki does from tataku does come from tataku which means um to hit but tataki tukeru um is to be um thrown against or it, i guess it is to strike so yeah, he's saying I don't want to be, I don't want to fall, and I don't want to hit others. That's um, things he doesn't want. Um, and Danny, rest of this paragraph, we'll go to you. Sono koto ga tsuki na no wa omaeda boku jonai. You like that type of thing? I don't like it. Perfect. Um, ano wa. Niyaritoshita. So Yana, she kind of smirks a little bit. And um, the next line here will go to Stella. Anata ka arana na ra yokata no ni. So you, you would be glad to be Alana is what she's saying. Yes, if only you were Alana is probably what the English person says. Mm. Only because no need, if it's like a period no need, has a very like a It's like whiny, I wish. wish. Yeah. Okay. If only type of feeling. Um, asuko de wa itsumo onna no ko ni maho oshiete ru shi. He says on top of that, there as in referring to the monastery. Um, they always um, teach the girls magic as well. And then the next two lines here will go to Danny. Fui ni i inkangaeka ukande oranoa ikio nonda. Tomu sosho yo. So show yo. That is a lot of you sounds. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. Un, 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 so, uh, oh, I lost track. Um, uh, fui ni. 
where did I? Oh, okay. Fui, uh, suddenly she thought of a good idea. Hi. Um, uh, she, ki, iki no, iki onanda, she gasped. She suddenly gasped because she had had a good idea. Hi. Tom. Uh, so show you. Let's do that. Perfect. Tom wa ana a arana no atama ni ukanda hyojo mite. Mata ton demo nai koto omoi tuita to wakata. So, Tom, he looks over at Alana, the expression that has popped up on Alana's face, and he understood that she has come up with something crazy once again. And the next two lines here will go to tree. Nanda, Nanda, Tom wa, ah, ah, wa, utagawa so I believe. Utagawa so ni hita. Utaga. Utagao. Utagawa shi so ni hita. A tom he. Uh, utagao oh, means so. like like a doubtful, like think someone looks sus. It's the she so ni is the expression for he he um he listen he listen or he asked. Oh oh so kiku, you're right that when you're talk kiku it means to listen. However, kiku only means to listen with the insinuated o particle. The insinuated ni particle changes it from to listen to to ask. The idea is that you're asking this question or in order to listen to an answer, which is very kind of convoluted. So if you see a ni kiku, it's always going to mean to listen, basically. And you see o kiku, then it is to um, hear. Uh, he he had an exp he he was startled he was sort of dismayed Good guess. and he utagao is to um suspect and utagawa shiso means um to look like you are um suspicious of somebody um and the way in which this is ly right ni means you're turning something into an adverb so Tomu, in this context, it's 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 to ask, uh, even though it's not me for towards. Um, so I guess sometimes me could be listen, but um, the, the thing is, he Tom is asking in a like suspicious kind of way. So he's saying nandai rather than nandai. He's not saying it emotionlessly. He's doing it in a hmm kind of tone of voice. I see. Yeah, but that that is kind of hard. Yeah, yeah. And none, none just mean what? Wait. And then die is. Yes. That was my stupid is... question. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's, that's it's like question. what machine? But uh, no, it's not die for machine. We probably would have had a kanji there for machine if it was. Um, it comes from nanda, right? Nanda question mark. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I don't really exactly know where the e comes from, but it's probably because da is hard to say the rising intonation for the question mark because with mm -hmm. um, short form you don't really add ka as a question instead you mm -hmm. use rising intonation and it's very common for like a e or e sounds to happen at some kind of slurring so my guess is that the a ah was too hard to make high so it turned into an e so it's actually mm -hmm. nanda but that's hard to say <laughs> i'm not a good actor so i wouldn't know how to do rising intonation on the spot but nandai is a little bit easier so that, that's that's most likely where that comes from. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just nanda, nandeska would be the same kind of sentence. Um, next sentence here goes to Denny. Uh, one sec. Oh. Hi hi hi. <laughs> it is about halfway through the page. Uh, okay. Um, from Orana. Yes. Okay. Uh. Ooh. Uh, Oranawa 
Um, at Atari o mi ma mawashi. Uh, Alana looked around the area. Um, Rokani, Rokani, uh, Shioninga, uh, Inaika, I Inaika, mm. Check, check, Shita. Hi, Tekista. What does Tekista mean? I don't know. I put a question mark next to that one. Hi. So <laughs> check is the English word check. So check it means yeah. she's check something. She's tashkamerui-ing. I don't know why they put this in English here rather than That, that was going to be my next question. Like, I don't, that, that was confusing uh, me as well. But yeah, it's just tashkameta. I, I, I think they were just kind of being like, English, yay. It's kind of hip and cool to use English words. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, <laughs> just depends on the <laughs> author. So they are double checking something. What is Alana double checking? She, she checked the corridor for servants. Exactly. She wants to make sure no one can overhear her. And Stella, next line is for you. Hi. Ashta Oto san wa. Uh, shiu? Shu oh, yep. uh, Ju Ju Ju. The print here is so small. So Ju small. Shen. That's better here. Ju Xiao Xia Mi Mi Narai No Kantoku To Shu Doin No Hito Ni Watasu tegami o sore zore atashi tachi ni azukeru. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> so azukeru is to like leave something, and so they're like leaving a letter with um. With like Alana's people, like Alana, we as Alana, like her group. Um, the yeah. Zore is Zore, it's what's confusing me here. So, um, Alana and her brother are two different people, and mm -hmm. there's going to be a letter to um, this person, the Kantoku, and also the Shudoin. So, there's going to be two Tegamis. So the sore zore is let us know we have two tegamis. It's it's being ah. used as a pluralizer in this context. It says each one. So one for mm. Elena and one for her brother. So the Elena Tachi is us. Us, the two twins. Okay. Okay. So tomorrow, father is going to have two letters. One to the um, monastery covenant. Convent. Hi. One to the convent and the other one. Kantoku's the Kantoku. Palace? Uh, close. Uh, Kantoku is just like the boss watching over man. What's that? Supervisor. Mm. It's a generic supervisor. supervisor. So the word over here doesn't actually literally say palace in here. It just says the, okay. per, the, uh, the, the supervisor of the apprentice attendant. Which, in this context, mm. is referring to being um, what he's going to be doing at the palace, which is to be a squire. Probably. Okay. But it's it's just a yeah. apprentice attendee. Attendant it, I think it's a very long eight. word. Because if yeah. the apprentices are the squires and it's the attendants mm. of the squires, then it would be the pages? Yes. So pages. <laughs> I haven't read the book in a while, though. I've never read the book halfway. So yeah, it's basically being used to say the the supervisor of the pages is basically what it's saying there. Um, yeah, perfect. And um, do, 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 that's a pretty long sentence. I'll do it. Um, それであんたはお父さんの字そっくり書くことができるから新しい手紙を書くの
So she says, and on top of that, you, her brother, is very, very good at being able to write his letters so that they look exactly like their old, their fathers. And she wants him to go write a new letter. And then, um, Tree, next line for you. Atashitachi ga otoko no ko no utago datte shoste shudoin ni iku no wa anta ni suru. Hai. Atashi tachi ga otoko no ko no utago datte. Um. We, uh, twins bo boy, because, um, I since we are twin boys. Um, so, I don't think that that can mean sense. That that sometimes can mean even, which isn't really sense. But here it is to, te, meaning like tokaku, to write. So this is write that we are twin boys. And what else should she, what shit else should Tom write? And then, uh, to the convent, uh, iku no wa anta ni suru. Hi. Uh, you are, you, you gonna go, as, as for going to the convent, it is you. The one that will be going to the convent is you. So no here is kind of hard. I don't think it's like normally taught, but this is pronoun no, which in English a lot of times the word one, the one who will go. Um, it's And it's a lot of times it will be in the same mm -hmm. sentence at the end of the clause after the wa. So here it's the anta. So um, iku anta wa anta, I guess could be a way you could translate the you who will be going is you, right? That's not really how we say stuff. We say the one who is going is you. So it's just that that's what that is. Um, I'm just, so shall be you. Next line will go to Danny. Uh, I am so bad. At, okay, tega oh. tega uh, maho tsukai ni nari tai te kai te. Uh, so write that you want to become a magic user. Perfect. And the next line here will go to Stella. <clears throat> uh, second to last line. Hi. Omoi da shite mite Sai Sai Mi Maho O What's that read what's the reading? Oshieru 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 wa mi ga mi kame no megame no miko Shinai. Shi Janai. 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 Right. Mm. This is a pretty hard one. So, <laughs> they don't teach. Right? Mm, the good guess. Good guess. So, we have Janai with a question mark. It's the same as if we did that in English, which is the word it, uh, is not. But don't we say. Move it. Yeah. Um, isn't it? Is when you start the sentence. So we just have the different things. So it's a rhetorical question. I would start with omoi dashite. Omoi dashite. So that is omoi. So that is. Um... Do you know what the mite means? I'm honestly really lost right now. So, 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 so. What is the mite? Hi. So te miru is normally translated in English as to try. 
but it's not used as a like to attempt something. The idea is that this like it's like uh in how we would translate the try in the sentence, like it says try to remember, but it's not really like trying. The idea is that you will succeed in doing this action. There's no like question to that. Well, some tries do have a assumption of success or fail. So another try in Japanese would be otosuru, which uh, insinuates that you failed trying to do the action. Um, so mita means like she like she's saying try to remember this, as in you you can remember this, right? It's not like a there's no question about it, but try to do it. Um, so same as in English. So try to remember. Saisho uh, means in the beginning, the um, yes. maho oshieru no. This is the same no I talked about earlier. What did I call it? Like a personal? The one who will. Yeah, it's a pronoun. Sometimes it's called one. So the one who maho oshieru. What does that mean? So the one who teaches? Yeah, the one who teaches mm. what? Magic. Magic. To who? To the maidens? Uh, in this case, it's otoko ni. Otoko ni. Otoko ni. So, so the one who teaches magic to boys in the beginning mm. is what it says. Miyako, right over here, is at the end of the sentence. We have the one is, right? Janai is de wa. Nai, this de is da. So if we're ignoring the nai part here, we have let's just pretend it's not negative, is da. So it says the one who teaches magic is Megami no Miyako, which is the goddess's uh female priest, right? Something like that. That's what she says, is. But then it's now it's negative with a question mark, which means isn't it? So she says, um, try to remember, isn't the one who originally taught um, boys magic was the priest, uh, the girl priest from the goddess temple? Hi. The... Hi. But yeah, it is a complicated sentence, especially with the pronoun no and the moving things around. But yeah, always keep an eye on those particles. So the knee here <laughs> is connected to that. What she do? Um, that was a hard one. Next... <laughs> uh, next line here goes to tree. Nan nen kasureba otoko no shin. Ah, no, no. This is um. You're right. It's shin. Shrine, the Shinto. Uh, in this case, it's Shinkan, which is a uh, male priest versus Miyako. Shinkan. Uh, no mo motoni uh o o kurareru yo to send off mm. to send off the male priest how Good many guess. years what is the particle knee tell us It tells the target. Yeah, the target. So, um, it, it, so who, who are we sending off? We sending off. We sending. Oh, the 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 priest, the male priest, uh, no moto, referring to his position or his location, yes. his his original location. Yeah. Um, we are going to send them off at the male priest's original location. Yeah, so oku okuraru is saying that the subject, which in this context is Tom, so Tom is sent or will be sent to the location of the priest that is a man. When is he going to be sent to this location? Because originally he's going to be sent to... Um, the monastery where the girls are. Nanen kasureba. Uh, this is the ba form of suru. So, Hi. if that's oh, possible. why is there the ba form here? The the so conditional the, verb. If it's not a conditional, right? It's if or when. Same idea in Japanese. There's not really a difference. So this is a grammatical. Um, 
nada is the vocal if does not mean when so when would be how i translate this so when nanen ka happens then what you'll be sent over to where the male priests are so nanen ka when means some after years of several yes so when some years also after happen. several years when some yes. years then Hi. you will be sent to the male Peace. to the male place perfect ashita wa kyuten atashi wa kyuten she says i to the palace ni ite kishi ni naru um renshi o ukeru she says i will go to the palace and i will take on training to become a knight and our next line here we'll go to stella sona no muri da yo tom han hanke hantai hantai shita so um he's like saying that that's like impossible hi hi right muri da yo a kami no ke wa do suru nandai so he's asking like what would i do with the hair on my head hi perfect and do we know that then... it's his hair that he's uh, wondering about so right now mm. lana has long hair mm. and he's you know like you like you don't really want to cut long hair from girls so he's like what are you going to mm -hmm. do about your hair right so um he is talking about alana's hair here his hair doesn't mm. he's not he everybody he's that there, makes more sense he's not discussing as a girl but she's supposed to disguise herself as a boy so he's like what are you gonna do with your beautiful hair um and here i thought he'd be wearing a wig i know right <laughs> well, they should have fully committed it's very clear that it's twin boys yeah um hadaka de uyogu koto datte deki deki nai janai ka and he says you can't you know you can't go over and um, swim naked, right? Um, sore ni oku nattara wakaru daro? Mune toka, um, uh, ga chigatte kuru yo. And he says, on top of that, when you become older, um, you know what's gonna happen, right? The, you're gonna start being different in things like your chest and stuff. And then Alana responds with this, and that will go to tree. Kaminoke uh, wa kiru Arana wa e kashta. I'll cut the hair. Hi. Irana, she reply. Perfect. And the next line here will uh, go to well. Danny. Uh, e in this is not well. It's E from you. It just doesn't have the kanji. So to reply back. Uh, okay. So shite. Hota no koto wa okite ka kara doni kasure. And no. Uh... Uh, do ni kasure. Hi, so do is There's a, a lot question. Here. Yeah, so do is a question mm -hmm. word that doesn't actually exist in English. It is a question of action. So because of this, this will be translated as either um what or how, depending on context. It's kind of like the word thing in mm. English. How if you say I have a thing on Saturday, you're referring to an event. If you say I I own a thing, you're referring to an item. Um, mm -hmm. that's what this kind of idea. It's a question of thing as event. So uh, I mean our action. Um, so action. Nikasuru means what kind of action should I do? What should I do? Don't nikasuru. In this case, she says, I will do something about it because of the ka. Ka is used like the nanen ka to turn a question word into a no longer a question word, such as doko, right? 
means where, and dokoka means somewhere, adding a sum in front of a where, because the location is unknown, the action is unknown, but we are not referring to a question here. We're just stating this unknown action has, there's a somewhere, the location does exist, right? But we just don't know the location right at this moment. So we're using a filler word to refer to that. So doka is what's going here, is referring to an action that is not being filled in what that action is. So some kind of action will be mm -hmm. done. So I will do an action when that happens, is what she's literally saying. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just, um, uh, I will do something about it, is what we'd say in English, using the thing that can refer to events. The event thing, mm. the event thing. I will do something about that. Uh, when will she? When will she do something about it? Ah. Uh, I know the okite is to occur, but yes. I don't know what the hokan no koto. Hi. So koto, koto is like the thing. The no, thing. thing again. The event things. So it says <laughs> this the is the thing most occurs. Big sentence. I will do a thing about it. I know big sentences are so hard. Um, and hokano just means an other. So she says, and no, um, if anything else happens, if, if anything else occurs, then I will do something about it. Mm. Yeah, those, okay. whenever we have those like question words, it can be really hard because <laughs> we want to <laughs> have like a very solid translation, but we can't do it. Um, I'll do up to there. Um, Koramu to Modo wa, so this is names. So he says, how about Koramu and Modo? So he says, um, it came to be that these two people um, will be accompanying us, right, to the location, and they're able to see us and tell which twin is twin. They're able to differentiate between the two of us. And next line here, we'll go to um, tree. Tree. Koramu to modu modo wa tsuki sotte kuru. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I've already read that. <laughs> ah, so He's sorry, talking so sorry. about um, these two people. Their name is um, Koramu and Modo. These people, they shitteru. So these people know, knew. Um, among other things, uh, as well, that um, we are not, uh, we are not twin boys. Perfect. And our next line here will go to Stella. Mm. About halfway through the page, a little bit more. Arana wa kikai no iru o uka uka beta. Oh no, that's the very end. It's about two paragraphs ah. before that. We'll start with Alana, which is confusing. Alana, <laughs> yes. but it goes um, Oya Yubi. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got it printed off and like arranged hi, hi, hi. left to right for myself. Alana Oya Oya Oh Oya Yubi O Yubi Kami na Kami na Gara Jikuri Kanka Eta Korum niwa 
Arashitara Maho o Kakete Yuru Teyu To Yoku Kuchi o Ate Aite Ita. <laughs> so, um, with that, so she like, is she biting her finger for that first? She bit? is biting her finger, yes, while she's biting her thumb. Ah. Really just so it. She's, she's thought about it. Well, right now and she's then, thinking um, about it. So okay. while biting her thumb, Alana thinks really deeply about this. And mm. then she yoyaku, which means finally, she kuchiyo kai kaite and itas. So okay. she finally opens her mouth and says what? That um, Colum can tell them apart. Uh, that was mentioned later. Here says Barashtara, which I guess means if Kam tells us apart, or in this context, when. When he um, uh, catches us red-handed, we... Mm -hmm. Can yaru, which is maho kakete yaru de you, which means we can say we can. maho kakete yaru. What's kakete? Hi, kakeru is yes. very interesting as a verb, so it makes sense why you're confused about it. So kakeru and kakaru are the exact same verb, but they both mean we'll to cover. kill him with magic. Yes. Cover. Okay, that uh, makes more sense. And it's the cover it with magic, which is used to say we cast a magic spell on somebody. Mm. So, yeah. Hi. So the same way you cover a donut in sugar, you can cover somebody in magic mm. to cast a spell. So yeah. So she says, "Well, with Khan, if he if he catches us red-handed, we can say I'll cast a spell on you." And that's that's what she that's her um grand plan. Um Koramu wa maho ga kirai da kara, so ieba heiki da to mo, which is, um, you know, Komu, he hates magic. So I think we'll be fine as long as we say that. And then Danny, rest of that paragraph goes to you. Mm, I have, okay. Sore ni um, tabun modo wa uchi akete. Aketemo daijobu. Um, uh, two mod. Also, tabun maybe mod in with regards to mod. Uh, also, okay, like safe. And then uchiakete. And I guess it's going to be like to confide or to, yeah, to tell or to confide. Yeah, um, on top of that, probably it should be fine if we combine with mode. Modo. Hey, so because of that, I'll make you do the next line. I mean, the last next. Oh, line. geez. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Kamu wa jito kangete te o mitsumeta. Tom uh, thought. Um, Tom thought Te o Mitsumeta uh, to look at, he was look thought while looking at his fingers. Hand. Tom, hand. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, Dekiru Kana uh, de to do that. Um, we could do that. Good guess. Can we so, do Kana. That? Um, is um easier to remember as a separate grammar point because it means like i wonder 
can we do it? Oh, okay. I wonder if we can do it. Can we do it? I wonder I if we can do it, Tom Wall. Tom Tomua Sasayaita uh to whisper. So Tom yes. whispered. Can we do it? Perfect. I wonder. And the next line here will go to tree. Aranna wa uh Tai Tai Ki Taiki Taiki no Iro O Ka Ukabeta Uh Ukabeta I I I I Ani Ani no Kao Mita Hi first off which verb is Alana doing? Arana mm -hmm. Mita. Yes. She looked at the face. Kao. Whose face? Oh, you don't know my end. Taiji <gasps> no the rising uh, sun a uh, good the guess it's color? the so um ukaberu which is to rise is um commonly used to refer to so something rising on their facial expression we actually saw a very similar version of this either on this page or the last page referring to alana's face she had some kind of facial expression that ukabud on it um iro which does mean color uh is commonly used to refer to like um, someone's face as well, like the color of your face, if it's like a healthy color, a bad color. So here it is the color of kitai, which is really is just a way to say that his face looks like he has kitai, which is not sun. Do you know what kitai means? He refers to um... Oh, is that for light? It's a, Some kind expectations. Of a... Expectation. The kanji here, I believe, is season and hold. Oh, like the limit of the season. Something like that. I think it's that, right? Like the end of a school term. I think that's the term. It would make right? sense, yeah. Yeah. So that's the have expectations. So basically, the brother has a look of like rapid anticipation on his face, right? He's like, ooh. That's all it's saying. So <laughs> Iro was here to just make it that kitai could be used to describe the face, and ukabu is just the verb that is used with things like Iro in order to describe a facial expression. But yeah, it's metaphors. Metaphors everywhere. Get those out of my face. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, which is um, if we... Um, should, sorry, um, in the corner of his heart, you can't help but think, should we stop ahead of our, before we get ahead of ourselves? Like, should we stop right now? And the rest of this line here will go to Danny. That will be probably where we'll end for the day. Uh, well, Tay's hands. Contest that that kanji is contest, right? Or like, or to lose. This is an idiom that means to be able to handle. Mm. So here, mm. cannot handle. Uh, the whole thing at teni oe nakuna. Oedu, sorry, oe, teni oedu is to be able to okay. handle. So teni oe nakunaru is to not be able to handle. Mm. Sorry, I'm taking notes. Um, uh, to, to, sa, to, sasa, yaku, uh, koe ga, shita, kedo, uh, whispered, his voice whispered, however, 
but his voice whispered. So um, before you continue this, would we not be able um, to handle it? But before, before, before you continue this, we do need a little bit of a context thing going on here. Um, I drew quotation marks, but there's no actual quotation marks here. This whole <laughs> sentence is things that Alana is thinking. She looks toward her, Alana's the main character, which is also why we had a soul earlier here when we were describing the older brother's um, emotions or something like that, because we actually can't read Tom's mind, but we can read Alana's mind. So because this book is written from Alana's point of view, we are able to get things like this sentence and the next sentence, which are things Alana is thinking. So the previous sentence literally says, um, if we stop, if it is in the, in the corner of a heart, random, but it's Alana's heart, right? Um, if the time is right, then perhaps we like before the time, like right before we get too far into this, should we just stop? Right? Mm -hmm. um, but that's that's insinuated by the context. This is Alana's thinking this right now. Should I stop right now? I kind of feel like right. Should I do that? So part of that she's saying, uh, she she there's a voice right in her heart that is say that's whispering, which is um you're not going to be able to handle this. That's, mm. that's what a voice is saying in her kokoro. So it's it's very context based here. So <laughs> the next part. Um. Amari Okina Koe Janai Kata. It wasn't a very big voice. Exactly. So, yeah, it's, it's hard. Look at these metaphors in here. Uh, but, yeah, that is where we're going to stop. So, next time we'll be doing this right here until we reach our first little papa little stopping point. It's kind of fun. <laughs> Uh, I like the fact that it has this for the um, chapter breaks because right, right, that's like the small time skip, <laughs> little buttons. Uh, but yeah, that's where we'll be stopping.